Hi Floss Tube, it is Helen D. And I'm here with my whip parade, my 2022 whip parade. As usual, it's dark as a pocket. <laughs> the light's the best I could get it so that you can hopefully see some colors in these pieces. Uh, if you are scrolling through whip parades and you've just found my channel, welcome. I will do a very brief introduction. Uh, my name is Helen. <laughs> I live in Maine. I'm married. I have a 13 year old son. Uh, two cats, Emmy and Pepper. Emmy is my co-host. She usually makes an appearance because she has um, kitty FOMO and she's afraid that I'm going to be doing something fun without her and she's not about to let that happen. So she might make an appearance. She has her own water cup so that she doesn't drink mine. Um, what else? I'm a stay-at-home mom, which in reality means I am a unpaid second shift Uber driver just driving my son around to all the things. So I always have a car project going because it actually gets a lot of attention. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, I love to fully finish. Uh, I actually really enjoy that process. So I have a number of tutorials that I will link below. I also have designed a few small freebie charts. Um, my husband put together a website for me, which is basically just a placeholder for PDFs. So if you're interested in those, that will be linked below as well. I am going to link below um, all of the titles and the designers of the projects we talk about, as well as what fabrics they're on. There were just a couple that I don't know. Um, that's it. That's all out of the way. So now the stitching. I look super pale today. <laughs> I'm not a vampire, I promise. Um, although that's what a vampire would say, so take that as, as you would. Stats. I'm not one for keeping very organized notes. <laughs> I'm just not. I've learned that about myself. You can buy the planner and think, ooh, I'm going to be so organized this year. It's not happening over here. I am leaving 2022 with 22 whips. Uh, I have one from 2020, two from 2021, and then all the rest which would be 19, are from 2022. Last year I tried really hard to work down my whip number. Last year I had 14 whips going into the new year. It wasn't because I felt I had too many whips, it was because I had a lot of older projects that really just needed to be finished up. I was getting tired of working on them and I wanted them finished up. So last year I worked really hard, 2021, <laughs> we're hard now in 2023, uh, to get that number down. So all of these ones that are new from 2022, in reality, like more than half of them were from August on. I had a very lots of starditis and new starts from August on. So, um, okay, I'm doing my oldest first and then I will go up to one, um, my New Year's Eve start, right up through. So my oldest whip is currently on the beach. I'll move that so we don't hit the light every time. Uh, caveat, there was no ironing. I don't like to iron my pieces until I'm done. So there was no ironing and I'm sure half these bags are zipped. There you have it. So my oldest piece is on the beach by Stitch Rovia. I have the digital chart. It was originally in Cross Stitcher Magazine, uh, and now it's available as a PDF on her website. I repurchased it, I, purchased, I had it from the magazine, I purchased the PDF so that I could pull it into Pattern Keeper, um, which is gonna make finishing this a lot easier. So that's where I'm at. I have the bottom, all that full coverage water is done. So really, I just need the people. This got started on my birthday in February of 2020. I know I worked on all that water while my son was doing online pandemic clarinet lessons. Um, and then I just got a little burnt out and it got put away. It will be easier now with the Pattern Keeper. This is stitched on 16 count Picture This Plus Mellow, Ada. So this one, this year. This is its year, I can tell. <laughs> My second, so these next two are from 2021. This one is one, if you watch my channel, you've seen recently because I just pulled it back out. 
I've been calling this Woodland Christmas for four years. Uh, the real name of it is Evergreen Sampler. So that's the finished piece. This is found in this hard to find book. It's a cross stitch Christmas handmade memories from 2013. This is put out by Craftways. This particular book is difficult to find. Several people have found it from their library, like an interlibrary loan, um, and it shows up. It does show up reasonably priced. In fact, I had a friend tell me she found one on Amazon Marketplace for six bucks, which included shipping. So it does happen, <laughs> but not often. This is designed by Karen Kluba, who is Rosewood Manor, and unfortunately it's not available on its own. So this is where mine currently is at. I'm stitching this one on a 25 count Lugana in Wedgwood Blue because it has a lot of these little animals, like these little birds, are one over one. So this is on a Lugana. I say I've been calling it Woodland Christmas for years because this was a restart for me. I had started this, I think, in 2018 or 19 um, on a piece of Jobelin. It's right here. I hated it. Hated it. This Jovelin, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't see the holes. It was slippery. So that's how far I got on that. <laughs> so this one restarted, uh, and that's as far as I've gotten. And then my last 2021, this one I don't have a great picture. It's by Barbara Anna. It's the uh, Tree is Magic, Tree of Magic. This was put out as a kit by Nitka Moscow. I don't know if these are currently available. This one I started because sometimes if I have a piece I really wanna get done and I just haven't started it, I think if I start that it will be in my whips and then I'll finish it. Well, so much for that because I started it and that's it. I don't even have to open the rest of the fabric, that's it. This is on 16 count Valor, which is a picture of this plus, Ada. Uh, it's a darkish green. I may, when I pull this one out, I may restart it. I have some different fabrics now that might work a little better. Uh, I was concerned because I needed the whites to show. You know, that's the age old stitcher's problem is we need the whites to show. So that one may get a restart. From here on in, we are in 2022. What I've learned about myself the last few years of stitching is I am a seasonal stitcher. I like stitching seasonal decor. I like working on it in that season. And if I don't get it done, pack it up, pull it back out the next year. So we have several of those coming up. The first one is Be Mine Biscornu by Heartstring Samplery. I have the digital chart, although you can also get the paper chart. So this is my first Biscornu. I didn't get very far, I kind of started it late. Uh, so this one needs to come back out. It's, this one's like extra wrinkly. That's as far as I have. I don't even know what side that is. <clears throat> this is on 16 Count Sparrow by Luminous Fiber Arts. The white shows up great. Um, so this one needs to be left out. Maybe I can get it done for Valentine's this year. If not, I'll get some progress and throw it back in this bag for next year. I must have gotten my spring ones caught up last year because the next one we, the next few we have are summer pieces. So next is All American from Primrose Cottage Stitches, which has been in this bag and is all squished up. I stitched mine on a 14, I believe 14 count tomb, uh, field stone from Color and Cotton. <clears throat> and that's as far as I got. I think I'm using all the called fours. Uh, there's one weeks and the rest are DMC. I don't remember because I put it away, you know, July 6th. <laughs> I haven't pulled it out since. Oh yeah, I'm using 
Louisiana hot sauce and the DMCs, which so that's all the called for. I started, I love I love a good stitch along. And the frosted pumpkin gets me with their stitch alongs frequently. <laughs> so the last year they had under the sea, which I have a picture. It is now fully complete. Uh, if you're interested in this chart, you can buy it as is, all done. It was done in sections. They were very manageable sections. Still didn't keep up. I got pretty, I, I, was, I was moving along. And then we got closer to Christmas and I had a lot of gifts and ornaments and things that I wanted to get done. And that was deadline stitching and this was not. So this got put away. So this is on 14 count Picture This Plus Haven. And that's as far as I am. Maybe I wasn't quite as far as I thought I was. Um, the whites, like in those little puffer fish, I had to do some back stitching because they didn't quite show up as well as I would have liked um, on this fabric. So this one, hopefully I can finish up. I have all the parts now. Sometimes when you have all the parts, it's easier because you can just get going and leave it out and work on it. The next two squarely fall into the category of, if I get this started, then it will be in my whips and I'll get it done. So they have tinier starts than Tree of Magic, which is pitiful. This one is Verano by Satsuma Street. I love this chart. I'll have to show you the chart to see what it looks like because all I have is some squares. It's pitiful. So there's the full thing. I love her colors and her use of color. Cat hair. Um, yeah, look, I don't have to open this one either. That's it. <laughs> that is all one floss though. That's one of the DMC variegateds, but the ones with the low numbers that, um, it's one, what is it, 48, 51, 90, it's one of those. Like it's the, the low number ones that I think don't variegate quickly enough, but on a border or something like this, they look really nice. I also love using them for cording. So there's that one. That's on Picture This Plus Aerial. I'm not sure if I said that. I think it's a 14 count. Okay, this one. This one is sad. <laughs> this is a sad little start. Whoops. This is Sweet Summer by Cherry Hill Designs. Designs? Cherry Hill Stitchery. She released this, Deanna released this last year. I started this in the car on the way home from West Virginia last summer. That's it. As far as I got, the fabric's pretty. It's probably not gonna get show because it'll be blown out. It's Picture This Plus Arbor, which is a really light pink with some splotches of gray on it. So that would be really pretty when I get to it this year. This is screaming to be a car project. Um, it, would, it would be pretty easy to do in the car. Then, oh, I have one more summer. Okay, hold on, it's in my second set of pictures. I had some digitals and I wanted to make sure you saw them because I'm not that far on them. This one is, oh no, I didn't move it over. I'll show you on my phone, it's in here. This one is Lobster Biscornu by M. Kissa Creations, which is my friend Marissa. Um, she's a fellow Mainer. We had a retreat a one-day retreat uh, over the summer called Stitch Main, and she designed this for that retreat. Here it is. So it's Lobster Biscornu, or as I affectionately refer to it as Dead Lobster Biscornu, because they're red. And a red lobster is a dead lobster. And I don't even eat lobster. But this is Dead Lobster Biscornu, stitched on a 32 count light blue Lugano. I started it at the retreat, 
So that's all I got done. And then I wanted to finish one lobster. And then I was moving on to fall things. And it got tucked away. So dead lobster biscornu has to come back out. Then I got into all of my fall <laughs> stitching. From here on, I started all kinds of things. I finished some, but I didn't finish a lot. <laughs> so they're in here. Uh, the first of which was Autumn Sampler. This was an expo release, I think at the first expo. So 2021, fall of 2021. And when fall of 2022's expo came, I thought, you know what? Instead of ordering a bunch of charts, I need to pull one out that I ordered from the last expo and, and work on that. So this is the one I pulled out. It's by Little Robin Designs and it's called Autumnal Sampler. It's gorgeous. It has a house, but it's little. Like, I'm not necessarily like, I need a huge house. I don't. <laughs> this is on the call for fabric, which is 32 count vintage Stormy Night Lugana. It's a great gray. This is one of my all time favorite grays because it's just dark enough that white shows up. It's got enough movement. It's a printed fabric. It's, it's the gray version of vintage country mocha. So that's as far as I got. I'm stitching the tree vertically to try and get the stripes the right way like bark would be um, which is a little different like I have to think about it so that one will get pulled back out for this year as well <clears throat> not long after I started that I was feeling the pull of Halloween and I started Flying Lessons by Silver Creek Samplers. I love this chart. This might have been an expo chart too. I don't remember. I didn't get it at that expo. Um, there you go, night. <laughs> That's as far as I got. This is on the Call For Fabric. It's a um, hazel wood from Fiber on a Whim, Ada. It's called for an 18, but I did mine on a 14. It's a great, it's a great spooky brown. It's a really nice color. There's that one. Then I started moving on to all my Thanksgiving things. <laughs> you can see where this is going, end of the year. I started Thanksgiving Petites by Little House Needleworks. There are four of them. I have two done. They're not fully finished, but they're stitched. This is in my bag because until I get all the ones I want done, it's not done. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to do three or four. I have right now this one and this one. And I don't even think, I haven't even started. I, did, I have my fabric cut. This is uh, Mushroom Lugana, 28 count Mushroom Lugana. I, a lot of my projects, I'm mostly an Ada stitcher, though I am learn, learning to use Lugana. In this past year, I actually used quite a bit of Lugana. I have a harder time with hand-dyed Lugana because they shrink. Um, 28's fine with me. If I'm using a 32 count Lugana, I'm typically a Zweigart girl. And I prefer Zweigart over Wichelt because of the... Um, the softness. I use Q-snaps so the softness doesn't bother me. One more Thanksgiving piece. This one I didn't even put the needle away. That's unlike me. There's a chart. It's buried. It's a little tiny chart so it's buried. This is Secret Turkey Hunt from the trilogy. This was sold as a little kit with the fabric and a button. You had to provide your own floss. These are hard to find. Um, so that's what it will look like. I think mine goes this way. I didn't get very far, but it's a start. This is small. I like to work on a piece around Thanksgiving and then just finish it up for the next year. Um, so that one, not. I have a lot of whips, but they're not all giant. <laughs> Actually, most of them are not giant. I'm not an uber giant project person. 
Uh, that's the round of, that's, that's basket number one. Now we have a pile. We'll move the pile up. I went to a retreat. Um, Stitch Inn at the farm. It's at the East Hill Farm in New Hampshire, and that was the first weekend of November. And a lot of the, of the stitchers there, we wanted to start Live on Little by Plum Street. So right after I said I don't have a lot of large projects, this is the largest thing I've ever stitched. So I started it there knowing full well with holidays and stuff, it would just be a start and then would get pulled out later. Mine is on 16 count Over the Moon by Color and Cotton. Ooh, I thought you guys were gonna get a big sneeze. <clears throat> So it's a big old chunk of fabric. I started in the bottom left because I wanted to really count out my margin and thought that would be the easiest spot. So that's all I got done there. One mermaid, this fish is already in the wrong spot, <laughs> and a whale, that's it. So this one needs to get some love this year. Um, this not so little chart needs to get some love. Abby Bella Stitch on Instagram started this and she called it Live on the Kennedy Compound in Nantucket. Truer words were never spoken. That was the perfect, that's what it should have been called. All right. I still have one berry in the works. Last year, I hosted a berry sale, a seasonal berry sale with all four of the Erica Michaels berry charts. So I started with spring, then summer, autumn, and I'm finishing up winter. These two are done. I'm finishing this one and I inversed it. So I'm using a blue thread on a white berry because the white was just not gonna show up enough. This one has a very, very tiny start, but I mean, I could, this won't take long. It, of all of them, it's the easiest. <laughs> so I left it for last on purpose. I think that's the end in winter. So that is the last of my seasonal berries. I love berries. I have more I'm hoping to get to this year, uh, but that one needs to be finished up first. That will be a winter. I'd like to get them up. So that one needs to be priority. Then I started two different charts from the Jingle Ball. I went to the Jingle Ball put on by Lindy Stitches. So these were exclusive charts, but they will be available in 2023. That's how they, that's, that was the deal. Like they had some exclusive charts and then they would come out the next year. So both of the ones I started were from Hands On Design. Uh, the first was the tree lot. So it's these really fun trees. I love the colors. The colors in these were really pretty. Um, this one, I believe, is on picture this plus echo. Ooh, that's on a blowout. I don't know if you can see the colors. If you see the colors up close, the fabric is not the right color. So that's on echo. And then the other one, is this one here, which is on, it's a picture of this plus and it's a chalkboard fabric. Um, but I couldn't remember the name, it was just a scrap. And that is from, did I not have that one? Here it is. That is from this one, which is called Oh Christmas 3. Now my blue floss for the words is not as vibrant. I think it was just a dye lot thing. So when I stitch the other two, I might pull a different blue so that they pop a little more. So even though I, again, I have one of each done, I'd like to get three of each done. So they are living with my whips. Then I got started, then it was Christmas time. Jingle Ball was at the beginning of December. So I thought, well, I need a bunch of Christmas projects to work on. So I started them. This one here will be my first finish 
of 2023. Uh, school started back up today, so we had to go to bed at a reasonable time last night. If we had not, this would have been a finish last night. This is Vixen by Nora Corbett. It's still on my Q-Snap because like I said, I'm gonna finish this up. So this is one of her um, Christmas Courier Reindeer. I did the start, I did the bottom beading last night. All these empty spots have beads in them and then there's a bunch kind of up in the antlers and stuff. So all my stitching is done and I'm just at the beading. I found these charts in 2020 um, at Goodwill. <laughs> they were $5 for the chart and some of them had the beads. And then I picked myself up off the floor and I grabbed all of them that they had. And I think they had five. I think I found five for $5. Then when I went up to the register to pay for them, uh, they were the color of the day. <laughs> so they were half off. So I realized what a deal I got on these reindeer and they're gorgeous. Um, and then I collected the rest of them. So I have the whole set. The whole set and the sleigh, there's a big sleigh, are on 16 count, picture this plus Haven Ada. So, this is number four that I'm working on. <clears throat> and I'm doing them in order. So I've done Dasher, Dancer, and Prancer, and that's Fix It. This was a, this was supposed to be my Christmas Eve start. But I think I started it early because I needed, I just felt like it. Uh, it's another Silver Creek sampler and this one is Kringle Flying Academy. But as with Flying Lessons, the Halloween one, I just love this style. It just really, really caught my eye. So this one I'm stitching on a piece of 14 count Ada, but it's a mystery Ada because it, I didn't have a label on it. It's not Picture This Plus. I'm 90% I'm sure that this is by, um, to die for fabrics from Etsy. And it's a dark purple. It's showing up purplier on camera. So here's this one. This one is charted in Cosmo Floss, but there's a DMC conversion, which I'm using the DMC conversion. I have enough floss. I don't need to buy a whole other line of floss. So I was glad they gave a DMC conversion. It might not be perfect, but that's, oh, I didn't even put the chart in there. That's the one I use. So that was my Christmas Eve start. I actually kind of had, I don't know this, I might have had two Christmas Eve starts because I also started this one. Hum. <laughs> this is Humbug by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is in this book. Um, it was put out by the Black Needle Society in 2021. 20, um, I'm borrowing with sisters. So the book had the Christmas Carol and then it had um, several charts in it. Let me find a picture. Oh, here it is. Hold on, because the chart's on the other side. So that's the chart, and that's how far I got. <laughs> uh, and it's all DMC. I've been working on this one at tennis. We had a lot of tennis over vacation. Um, I had an entire leaf in the wrong spot, kind of right here. You can still kind of see it that I had to pick out. So that's that little small. And then as if I didn't have enough new starts, I had a Christmas day start too. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, my Christmas Day start, if you got the Autumn Lane Stitchery Christmas box and you haven't received it or had a chance to open it and you don't want to be spoiled, that is what this box is from, this chart. So just look away for a minute. So this is what I started. Again, this was in the Christmas box and will be available most likely in 2023. I'm stitching mine on 28 count 
Enchanted Lugana from Mystic Fabrics. I love this color. It's probably not going to show up very well. But that's as far as I got. It's all DMC. So it, this one's super wrinkly because I just took it out of the Q-snap. I've put that down if you're not looking. So that's that one. And then I have one more. Number 22. New Year's Eve start. Big Hearted Tiny Town from Heart and Hand. I love this series. I have two done. I'd like to do all of them. And then she's going to keep coming out with more. And I'm going to keep stitching them. <laughs> this one, again, finding something the white would show up on. It's charted on Picture This Plus Fawn. Um, I didn't have any Fawn. I've had Fawn Ada before, though, and I don't think the white on the Ada would show up great. So I used, if it's going to show, um, Picture This Plus Glacier. It's like an aqua down there on the bottom is, is pretty accurate. It's an aqua blue. That's as far as I got. I'm using a mix of call for if they have them. There were some that I didn't have, so I just pulled something I did have that worked. Um, so that is all 22 of my whips. Plans wise, I'm not a planner. <laughs> I've learned that about myself too. Um, my goal, I have a lofty, not a lofty, I have a very wide ranged goal, I guess, this year. I would like to get my three oldest whips done, which would be On the Beach, Woodland Christmas slash Evergreen Sampler, and Tree of Magic. Um, on the Beach and Woodland Christmas are well underway. Tree of Magic had one line in it and I may restart it, but those are the ones I'd like to get done. What I started last year that really worked for me is if I have a project I'm looking to finish, I work on that project on Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, that way, those are kind of my least amount of stitching days. I work on them those days, and then I have plenty of time to work on other things that might be more fun to me. So right now, Woodland Christmas is my Monday, Tuesday project, although over the holidays, it didn't get a lot of love. When that one is done, uh, I'm going to move on the beach into that spot and hopefully get that one done. So that's about it for my plans. I am going to do some small stitch alongs with Carla at Cobweb Corner. We're going to host a few smaller stitch alongs this year. Uh, we have one of those starting in February that I announced details for on my last video. Um, so far I haven't given in to any yearly stitch alongs, but there's still time. Frosted Pumpkin hasn't even announced theirs yet. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for spending some time with me to watch this video. I hope that you were encouraged <laughs> to start, if you saw something you liked, add it to your 2023 starts. That's what I've been doing with all the whip parades I've been watching. Um, I will be back with a regular video, hopefully next week. Uh, maybe it will be sunny <laughs> and I won't look all blown out. We'll see. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Bye.